Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to use uh, the SQLite tools to connect to a SQLite um, database, more exactly to a Primavera SQLite standalone database and um, edit some settings and play around with the select uh, and insert. So for this, first of all, you need to go to SQLite.org and download the necessary tools. For example, in my scenario, I'm using a Windows environment, so I'm going to download the Windows 32-bit uh, uh, system, and I'm going to save it locally. And once it's saved, extract it. And there are a couple of tools uh, you can use, but at the moment, I'm just in interested in SQLite Flip. This is a command line uh, editor. And I'm going to copy it to where I have my database file, just so I don't have to work with the long paths. And let me open up real quick a command window, and I'm going to navigate to... Okay. And documents. And in here, I'm going to open up SQLite 3. And once uh, I navigate to here, uh, what I need to do is actually uh, open up uh, the file as we're prompted. Use open. So for this dot open and the file name. In this case, I'm just going to rename and copy this file name. Okay, and now we're inside the database. And if I do a uh, uh, select. that are available for the SQLite database. Of course, I'm expecting this to return only one row. So, let's see. It did return one row, but um, it's not really properly formatted. So, by default, the SQLite editor doesn't really show much information. So, for example, I don't have the headers on, the mode is set to list, and there are a couple of other uh, tweaks you can do to have a better display of what you might be interested in. So, for example, if I do headers on, and column, and then execute my query again, by pressing up, I brought up the query again. I have a bit more detail, but there are too many columns for them to arrange them correctly. I could go around and play with the column with a little bit more, but I'm not really interested in that. It's better, it's simpler just if I select the user name from inside the column and I can see the actual user. Well, my problem is at the moment with this user, I kind of forgot my password. So for this, I'm going to reset it by uh, doing the following command. The users, this is the table that I'm updating, the users table, and I'm going to set the password column equal to now. This means that there won't be anything in that column and it should accept a blank password. And by default, a SQLite should commit, but I also like to type in manually commit. Okay, so it already committed. And now, if I'm gonna go inside P6 Professional, I should be able to log in into the application without an actual password. But before I try to log in, I need to exit out of uh, the SQLite browser. This is because we have a lock on that uh, SQLite file and I won't be able to open it up inside P6 if I don't exit out of here. So once we're out, and I just hit OK and it directly uh, sent me inside the application. And once the application is uh, opened, you can go in and actually reset your password to anything you'd like. So if I go under Edit User Preferences and go to the Password tab, you can set here your password to anything you'd like. And note even more than this, if you're interested, you can go to Admin Preferences and actually uh, set 
um, enable password policy, which will force the password policy uh, to a more strict password. But this is up to you and how much Java security you're interested in. Okay, thank you for uh, your audience and have a nice day.